All right, so here we are once again. <laughs> Making fun of girls is what we do. And it's so easy. So we're on Carly shoot. Do I look pretty hot? This is like the borrow this dress for my grandma. No, that's your dress. Look how skinny you look. We're going to the club. Please show me your nip slip. <laughs> Roth, Roth told me to do that. You want him to nip slip it? <laughs> she said that makeup sticking to your greasy nose. <laughs> nose. Look at close your eye. Look at those uh, that awesome makeup up. Turn your head to the side. We need to see those lashes, girl. Butler's got good lashes. Yeah, we do. Your eyes are popping. Popping it like a top. So yeah, we're just doing this other video. What's this video called? Don't be that blonde. Oh wow. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Pretty much, Carly has all these lines rolled up in, in different scenes, and the best footage we've got is just Kaylee and Carly having a conversation, so we'll see I what makes... <laughs> we should just strap some GoPros to me and Kaylee's head and drive around, because that's when the best moments of her and I yeah. happen. Sounds <laughs> good. Focus. Alright, cool. This is Carly Skittles, Skit 040014, scene 12, take 2, Marker. There you go. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Alright, ready, and... Action. I need to work out. I wonder how late 24 hour fitness is open. Google! Google! That's all we can show you. So we're just like pumping gas and stuff. Yeah. You know, people are looking at me. Dude, my face is so freaking raw right here. You guys see that? You see that? I had makeup on and I'm like, how the hell does this stuff come off? I was like trying to get water and Kayla was like, you gotta take soap to it. And I scrubbed my face with soap. Burned it. You know, it's the price you pay playing a woman, I guess. I, women out there, I'm sorry, that sucks. I'll never do that again. Never put makeup on again. That hurt so bad. Anyway, we're just heading to Shane Clutz, gonna go have some din din. Okay, I just wanna say hi, what's up? Get some fuel. Dude, when I was in New Mexico, gas was two ninety eight a gallon. Three seventy four here. Why is gas more expensive in California than it is in freaking New Mexico? I don't get it. I know, another super short, lame vlog from Casey LeVere. I apologize. I just have to tell you though, sometimes I seriously feel very inadequate as an entertainer on YouTube. And that's how I've felt the last few days since I've been home. And it's not because I feel like I don't have anything to bring you guys, but I just feel like there's so much great content on YouTube that you guys would rather watch somebody more amazing than me. But that's gonna change. Because I understand that sometimes people just want to see normal, everyday people. And that's what we are. We are as normal and as everyday as you can get. I am a uneducated Nimrod. Basically from the state of Utah is what I'm trying to say. My wife is more beautiful than the sun. She is, has her degree in being a beautician, she's the better better half, if you will. But besides that, I always feel like, what do we have to bring to the table? But what I want to say is, my brother Shay has created something simply amazing. And I'm not just saying that for the opportunity that he has allowed us, but I'm saying for what he has strived to build, and he's built it. We went to dinner at his house tonight, and, and two of the co-founders of Maker Studios were there, which are very, very close friends of ours, Ben and Lisa Donovan. And they've been our friends since the day we've moved here, since before we moved here. And just listening to their stories brought this, like, excitement back to me. Like, they have created something that is simply amazing. And I was telling Ben this, I was trying to tell Ben this, is it's not just awesome that what you're doing is huge, that you guys have created this company that's worth a ton of money, um, a company that, you know, is innovative, that's creating something new, that's allowing people to do these amazing things. But it's a company that's giving people purpose, that's giving people jobs, that are giving people incomes, that are that are supporting kids to go to college. Like, that's huge, right? Like, you know, they're, they're allowing these kids from school to graduate school and to get jobs that weren't around 10 years ago. They're giving them that opportunity for what they're doing. And I'm not saying they created YouTube. I'm not saying they created this social media network, which they didn't. But if it wasn't for them, there would be 300 plus people out in the world looking for jobs somewhere else. 
and I just look at Shay, my brother, and you know, it used to drive me crazy when people would say, oh, you're just living off the coattail of Shay, or the only reason you're doing this is because of your older brother, and it'd drive me crazy, and I'd be like, well, I want to do my own thing, like, yeah, it's true, but at the same time, dude, I don't care, it's true, my brother created this thing, but it's not just for me, and not just for my family, like, he hasn't given me, like, he doesn't, doesn't give me money every month or anything like that. But he's created this opportunity, not just for me, not for just his brother and his brother's family, but for everybody. Like, you know, how many people out there would be doing something different with their lives if it wasn't for Shay? And I hate to say it that way, but it's true. Like, you know, there's a few of them, like, you know, the originals, Charles Trippy, Shay. Philip DeFranco, Cass, I mean, I don't want to get into names, but there's a bunch of them, right? And uh, they've created this platform that has allowed certain people to create something. And I've done a terrible job at it. Like, I've give, been given this huge opportunity, and I feel like I don't vlog or I don't make videos because I feel inadequate compared to these people, is what I realized. And I don't want to feel like that. I want to feel like I... And giving somebody something somewhere. Like I said before, I, I'm not trying to... I, I was. I was trying to get up. Not emotional, but... I, sh I don't let people into my feelings very often. But I did tonight. Welcome. Welcome to my heart. Here it is. Open. Anyway, I just was very touched today by shooting this video with Carly. Um, with Maker, M Maker personnel. Going to Shay's and talking to Ben and Lisa and Shay and listening to their stories. It's amazing. It's simply amazing. And anybody that can find a way to do something that they love and that they're passionate about, congratulations, no matter where it's at, no matter what platform it's at. When we were in New Mexico a few weeks ago, we were hiking around, me and Logan, my little brother, which was simply amazing, by the way, spending six weeks with my little brother. It's getting ready to leave to Argentina for two years that we won't be able to see. And uh, just getting to spend some time with him and talk to him, you know, brother to brother. Said there's such a huge gap, age gap there. And uh, he was asking me, because we were talking about his future, it's like, what do you want to do? Like, do you want to go to school? What do you, like, you should go to, to film school or something? And he's like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do this or do that. And he's like, what do you want to do? Like, what's your plans? What's your goal? I'm like, honestly, there's I've always had two goals besides family and all that, career-wise. I've always wanted to have a hunting show be, you know, important in the hunting community because it's important to me and important to the way I grew up and important to how I want to raise my kids. And I've always wanted to own a really cool hunting clothing line. And I'm like, I'm doing it. <laughs> That's what I do. I have a, a channel on YouTube that I hunt and fish and, and show that to, you know, thousands of people around the world. And I just bought this clothing line that I want to launch to make cool shirts and stuff in the outdoor industry and that's what I'm doing and it wouldn't have been possible without all these other people so anyway long story short ugh, it's super late sorry about the vlog but uh dude we just like rubbed hearts like I took my heart out and I rubbed it in your guys' faces and you're like oh it's your heart Casey your heart's so warm it's comforting and I'm like yeah I know anyway bye